If you're considering buying a new MacBook, then I think you should only choose between these three models in 2022. These three laptops have the newest hardware from Apple and are likely to outlast any other currently available laptop model. So if you're considering buying the Air model, you should aim for at least 16 gigabytes of RAM and at least 512 gigs of storage if it fits within your budget. I found the 200 256 gigs of storage fills up extremely quickly. However, if these specs are over your budget, you should firstly consider downgrading the storage but not your RAM because you can always buy an external SSD later. This is because the base M1 MacBook Air model comes with only 8 gigs of RAM, which is quite low in today's standards. With 8 gigabytes, you would only be able to run one lightweight game or a few Chrome tabs at the same time. And and as technologies improve, each application starts using more and more of system memory, so 8 gigabytes of RAM wouldn't last you long. Now, if you're considering buying either of the Pro models, you should aim for at least 32 gigs of RAM and at least 512 gigs of storage. These laptops are primarily made for professional users, and if you're planning to get the most out of them, getting one with 16 gigabytes would be a complete waste of their potential. But the main underlying factor between purchasing the MacBook Pro models in 2022 is the screen size. And the main factor between the Air model and the both Pro models is your budget. Now that we've established the best specs to get for these laptops, we should see which one is the best fit for you. If you have a tight budget or are a student and what you do with your computer doesn't require heavy 3D rendering or video editing, then you should definitely go with the M1 MacBook Air. This model is the most budget-friendly and if you are a student, you can even get a student discount when purchasing it from Apple. Now, if you are a more advanced user who, for example, edits a lot of photos or videos, renders 3D projects or does any other heavily intensive tasks that stress out your machine other than simply doing things in your browser, you should most definitely go with either of the Pro models. As I've mentioned before, the main difference for you in considering which one to buy is going to be the screen size. Now, of course, the Pro models differ from the Air model in more ways other than the steep price point. If you are not a professional but still enjoy a beautiful ProMotion 120Hz display, better speakers and have the money to afford it, you could definitely go with one of the Pro models instead of getting the MacBook Air. The main reasons for doing that would be that your Pro model would most likely outlast the Air model in the long term because it's more powerful and you would be able to enjoy that beautiful screen as well. However, in this case, you should probably get the MacBook Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM instead of 32 because if you're not planning to do anything intensive with the laptop, paying for the extra gigabytes would be a waste. I hope that I helped you make up your mind in deciding which MacBook you should buy in 2022 and if you enjoyed this video, consider watching the next one.